If you all will remember, I think I showed this in a previous uh, video, and the season's greetings uh, had been, uh, you know, pulled off of it. Well, I actually made a season's greetings and just reapplied it. It took me forever to do this, but... <laughs> Welcome back into another video. <laughs> so today, this video is going to be a very merry vintage Christmas haul. And this is a collaboration video with Nicole over at Nesting Haven. This is things that I have thrifted throughout the course of the year at garage sales or thrift stores or estate sales and that I'm either selling on eBay or I'm gonna keep for myself. So I will link Nicole's uh, uh, channel down below and I will also link the playlist down below so that way you all can go watch all the other videos. I have got a lot. <laughs> so this is gonna take, um, hopefully it won't take too long. I'm gonna try to go kind of quick, but I'm gonna talk about a few things along the way. And I will let you know things that I'm keeping and things that will be for sale in my eBay store or are or, 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 already for sale in my eBay store. Okay, so the first thing that I got was this little, cute little Santa Claus uh, towel. I don't know if this is particularly old, but I just thought it was really cute. Paid a dollar for that, um, so yeah, there is that. I'm probably gonna keep this for myself. Next up, and a lot of the stuff that you're seeing, uh, you have probably, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you've probably seen some of these things in past videos but all of this will be the Christmas that I've collected. Some of it you haven't seen. Okay, the next thing I got was this vintage tree skirt. It's got bells and Merry Christmas on this side. It's round. And then on this side, if you all will remember, I think I showed this in a previous uh, video, and the season's greetings uh, had been uh, you know, pulled off of it. Well, I actually made a season's greetings and just reapplied it. It took me forever to do this, but <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to list this on eBay. I don't have it listed yet, but anyway, there's that. It's in really good shape with the exception of a few like, you know, like wear areas. There's a few little pinholes in here, uh, but outside of that, it's in really good condition for the age of it. Next up is another tree skirt and it looks like this. On this side and then it's got a Santa Claus and these on the other side the poinsettia and it's got this little um, you know pom-pom ball fringe I already have this listed on eBay so um, this is in really good condition as well it does have a little bit of few little pinholes like the other one um, but it's in really good shape for you know the age of it I thrifted these and actually I just sold three of these uh, this morning <laughs> Uh, this is these cathedral candles, vintage cathedral candles, and this is like a kind of, I don't know really what you call that, like a fuzzy, velvety kind of feel to them with the vintage flowers. Um, I picked these up at my local Salvation Army, and I got the whole box of them, I think for like a couple dollars maybe. Um, but I got a whole box of these, so I have three of these left. Okay, next up, I went to a garage sale. This woman had a whole box of Christmas plates. This is some of the stuff that was in that box. These um, two little square plates, just decorative plates, probably could put cookies on them or, you know, anything. But anyway, I thought they were just really, really cute, and they were included in the box. I paid either 15 or 20, I think it was 20 for the whole box of Christmas plates. And there was also, if you all saw here a while back, I did a video of those um, napkin rings of the hunting horses. Those have already sold. So those were included in that 20. And then all these cups. Um, the brand of this is, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It starts with a W, like wa wash, Watersbach or Washerbach or something like that. All these cups were in here, and I've seen these online. And these don't have the marking on the bottom like the other ones, so I'm not sure about these. Anyway, there's this one, this one with the Christmas tree and snowman, this one with the candy canes. This is all included in that 20. 
and this one here with the Christmas trees, and then this one. And actually, I have two other ones. I'm going to have to <laughs> pause it after I show you some stuff and bring other stuff over here because I've, I've got so much stuff. So there's that. And like I said, I've got more to show you in that 20, but it'll be a little bit further on into the video. Okay, I picked this up at my local antique mall where I used to have my antique booth. Um, when I saw it, it's got Lefton on the bottom. And it's a like a little tidbit, two-tier tidbit tray. And I've looked this up. I can't find a whole lot of this pattern, so I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's a rare pattern or if it's, I, I don't really know, but I can't find a whole lot about it. Um, it was $6. I did pay the $6 for it, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, if I'm going to keep this or try and list it on eBay. Not really sure what I can get out of it, uh, but anyway, there is that. It's got the Christmas tree with the presents on it. There's an, another pattern that's similar to that, uh, but not exactly like that. So like I said, it's been kind of hard for me to find that exact pattern. Okay, next up is this. I got this at the thrift store. This is a Fitz and Floyd, and it's a cake plate. Just looks like that. I don't currently have this listed on eBay, but I plan to list it. Um, it does have a little bit of crazing. You probably can't see it. There's a little bit of crazing on the top, but not too, too bad. Not sure exactly how old this is. What um, I've looked up the pattern, but I can't remember what it is. But anyway, there's that. And it's in really good condition outside of that crazing on the top, which isn't really that bad. Next up, I picked this up. This is a Falls Graph, um, just a little candy dish. It's in pretty good condition. Right here, the gold has come off because they had tape around there with the price on it. And I can't remember what I what the price was on this, but I just thought it was really, really cute. Uh, kind of has that vintage look. I'm not really sure how old that is. Okay, this is something else that came in that uh, box of the 20 with all the Christmas dishes. It's this Santa plate. Probably used to put cookies out for Santa. This is a Fitz and Floyd Essentials. Um, I don't currently have this listed, but I plan to list this. Okay, I got this recently. Uh, this is just a little vintage Christmas tin. Just looks like that. Nothing on the bottom. And then these little doilies. This one here. And this one here. I love this one. I think that's so cute. And I can't remember how much I paid for those. Then I got these Christmas towels. Little embroidered Christmas towels. That one and this one. Thought those were really cute and this one right here so I might lot those up and sell those together um, you know it's just a, a lot of three and then I showed this recently on my Sarth's video <laughs> support a reseller this holiday season um, this right here this embroidered towel kit and it's got the little candle uh, embroidery you know when it's finished that's what it'll look like but I do currently have this listed on eBay okay got to get the other stuff and I'll be right back okay <laughs> I'm probably going to have to pause again. I told you all got a lot. Okay, next up is this vintage Santa Claus. And he has a, where you wind him up and he plays music. You all probably saw me thrift him at a garage sale. Um, he, the wind up thing does not work. So I don't know if there's a way to fix that or if he's really going to be worth much. I'm thinking that I paid either five or seven dollars for him. I probably shouldn't have paid that much because, you know, like I said, the thing doesn't work. So. I just thrifted this yesterday and there was four of these plates. The other three I did not get because they're really not worth a whole lot compared to what they were asking for them. They were asking two dollars a plate. But anyway, this is a Royal Copenhagen collectible plate. This one's from 1973. And the reason I went ahead and picked this up and paid the $2 for it is because I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> um, it kind of reminds me of um, the Polar Express. But anyway, I thought it was just really, really cute um, in really good condition. And that's what the back looks like. Then I got these are, these are Fitz and Floyd as well. And they are a sugar and creamer set. And I'm not sure if this is the same pattern as the cake plate. Um, I don't think it is. 
Uh, could be. Okay. Only thing wrong with this one is there's one little tiny chip right there, and actually I don't think it's a chip. I think it's just the uh, paint that is, um, you know, like a little paint chip. Um, but anyway, other than that, very good condition. Um, I don't have these listed yet, but do plan to list those. Okay, I picked up these plates here. These are Lefton uh, Cardinal Salad Plates. I have eight of these, and I do have these listed on eBay. I can't remember what I paid for these. I'm going to say like maybe, I don't know, 4 or $5 for all eight, but I can't really remember. But anyway, these are in very good condition. No chips or cracks. Um, really, really nice. This sugar and creamer was given to me by... A friend of my mom's and she used to have an antique booth and used to you know buy and sell these are Zrike by Michael Sparks now she said that these used to be uh, very very popular uh, very collectible I don't think they are so much now I do have these listed on eBay it's the sugar and creamer um, very nice design very good condition no chips or cracks and I don't believe that there's even any crazing on these so yeah there's those okay i picked this up yesterday and i was very surprised this is a linux um the uh, pattern is called holiday nouveau and this is what it looks like this is a bonbon bowl or at least that's what my research has showed me and these sell for pretty good you know i'm gonna say 15 to 20 um, so I do already have this listed on eBay. Pick this up. This is um, the Simpsons Dope Tannenbaum. <laughs> I thought that was really cool, and especially that it still has the box. And I think I paid, I don't know, a dollar or two for that. I got these very, very early in the season. I think one of the first garage sales uh, that I went to after winter last year. This lady had all of these uh, Christmas ornaments. And I'm not sure how old they are. They're metal. And they have the hook like that. They're in really, really good condition. I have pictures for these. Uh, but I do not have them listed yet. Um, and there's some rocking horses. And there is this snowflake. These are really, really cute. Uh, like that. So I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, so I think I've got like eight, something like that. I'm just going to sell them as an entire lot. Okay, now I'm getting ready to show you the stuff that was in that $20 box, some more of that stuff. This right here, this is what the name of it is. So I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> but anyway, this heart mug and this snowflake mug and of course all the other mugs that don't have this on the bottom so i'm not really sure i also have two of these uh bowls right here this is more of the the um that pattern two of the bowls and then i believe i have four plates and these are what the plates look like and it's got a different kind of stamp it's not that kind of embedded or you know what I mean. <laughs> so anyway, there's those. I also got a, th a three-sectioned platter in this same uh, pattern, and I've already sold that. I believe that that sold for $47 for that platter because I think the platter's kind of rare. I uh, can't find it very much. And I also sold, I believe that I sold a mug, another mug that I had. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I gotta eat the rest of it and then we'll be done. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> okay, a few more things. This sled, I picked this up and if you guys saw the wreath that I made, those two reindeer that are on that wreath came with this sled and the packages. Remember I did the video open, uh, talking about opening all the packages? The packages were in this sled. So, currently I just only have the sled. And based on the bottom, um, I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking that this is probably a home co item. I think I paid two or three dollars for the sled, the two reindeer, and the packages. So, got the sled. Okay, I got this cast iron Santa. He's really heavy. <laughs> and he is marked Midwest Importers of Cannon Falls Made in Taiwan. 
So that is Santa. He's probably like a doorstop. Then I got my poor little reindeer. I know he's all messed up. Look at his face. He's got the chicken pox or something. <laughs> I tried to clean him a little bit, but I think I'm just going to leave him the way he is. I currently have him set out for Christmas, but uh, may eventually end up selling him. I'm not sure how much I can get for him, and I don't remember what I paid for him. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, he's really cute with his little gold antlers, and yeah, so, and I could tell by the tag. The tag says, uh, Morsley Creations. It's got Japan on it, so I thought he was cute. I picked up this Precious Moments um, little nightlight. Works perfectly. I've got this listed on eBay. Can't remember what I paid for this. Maybe a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. But anyway, I just thought it was really cute. I thought that Precious Moments would be uh, more collectible than what it is, but I guess maybe some things are. But what I've found and what I've the research I've done, it's really not that collectible or doesn't go for that much. So little tip if you find anything <laughs> to try to resell precious moments it's you know doesn't go for much then everybody loves these these are my little candle hugger mice <laughs> and I currently have them well I had them I wanted to show you guys but I have them on my uh, dining room table for Christmas and I've got them on candles they look really cute I think I hauled these recently these are three little mice and these are home co mice like that. Aren't they cute? I just love them. I think I'm going to keep these. <laughs> and then I got this Santa. I currently have him listed on eBay. He is from the Santa Claus shop, uh, St. Nicholas, circa 1905. And this is from 1985. So I thought he was just really cool carrying the Christmas tree and his uh, presents there. I have two of these. These are vintage ice buckets. I think they're ice buckets. I don't currently have these listed, but they will be listed pretty soon. So like I said, I got two of those. I love this. This is a little uh, snow woman and she's a candle holder. It's weird though, because the hole for the candle is really, really small. I haven't been able to find a candle that small to fit it down in there. So, but anyway, I just have her setting out. I just think she's just so cute. I thrifted these for me. <laughs> I saw these at my antique mall where I used to have my antique booth and I paid up for these. I think I paid either 15 or $18 for these. These are Holt Howard Angel Candle Holders. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, I just loved them. They're in excellent condition. No chips or cracks anywhere. Uh, no crazing on them. Um, and then the uh, back there where the candles go. And then they are marked on the bottom. Uh, Holt Howard Japan. And these are from 1958. So I just love these. I absolutely love these. <laughs> so I'll be keeping these. <laughs> I've actually got these for myself also. I bought these from Scott from the old curiosity shop. I saw him haul these and when I saw them, I absolutely fell in love with had to have them. So that's what they look like. It's a little, um, I guess boy and girl. And they say, Noel, there is a couple of little chips on there, but I don't really mind that. There's one down here and then there's one right over here. Let's see, no, over here, right there on the hair. But I just loved them. I thought they were so, so cute. And I believe that he said these are probably from the either late 1950s, early 60s, or maybe just the 60s. But anyway, just love those. That's my Christmas haul. It was a big one. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff this year, and actually, I got a couple other, th let's see, one more thing, and it was just a, I'm not going to show it because it's just like a, a small, like, frosted Christmas tree. I've got it setting over on my fireplace. So, that's it. I thrifted a lot of Christmas this year, and still, still thrifting. When I go to the thrift store, I always look at their Christmas room. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and Nicole, thank you for, um, uh, doing this open collab. I really enjoyed doing it and showing you guys all the Christmas stuff that I found. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye.